Hello and welcome to another video here at Movie Mash. And today we're going to talk about Godzilla vs Kong. Yes, it's finally here. Oh my god. But before I carry on, I'd like you to please like and subscribe down. Just click the button below. It won't take you a second and I appreciate it. Now, this film is here. Now, I, before I want to... This film was great. I loved it. I No, it was everything I hoped for. Fingers crossed. I couldn't believe it. Um, the anticipation for this film was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I mean, like, I thought, yeah, it's going to be the run of, run of the mill popcorn film that I am interested in. Um, but the end, it's huge. This has been going on for months. Um, I have a, a Facebook movie group that I interact with people. So if you want to see more, come to Movie Mash on Facebook and we all have a chat. But the anticipation for this... Um, Maybe I didn't notice about the last ones. As I said, I thought it was going to be massive King Kong and Godzilla fans and just a normal person would like to see this. No, it was everywhere. Men, women, children, everything. Um, I was going to say is, is that I thought Zack Snyder's Justice League will probably be the biggest anticipated movie up to this point. Um, but no, it wasn't. Now, I know people might argue with that. Trust me with my Facebook group and this, it was, it's been out, it's been massive. Now in this country, in the UK, we've had, um, we don't have HBO Max. And I made a little video yesterday just because I found out as we were struggling to find out where Wonder Woman was playing and um, Justice League was playing on the last minute. So I found out and I thought I'd do a little video to tell people in the UK, if you want to know where it is, Here's where it is, because I found out, just to help. And the response I got, I the people in the UK alone, yeah, it was massive. I couldn't believe how many people wanted in the UK. That's only here. The worldwide, massive. So this is going to be, this has to be good, right? It better be good. Now, the CGI was immaculate. It was perfect. It was great. I mean, I can't remember the last time I saw... Um, uh, well, um, Justice League CGI was pretty good, but this is flawless. I mean, like, my favourite part, all my favourite CGI parts was uh, the close-ups of Godzilla. I mean, the detail was... I mean, all of it, the detail were good, but Godzilla, a few close-ups, and the detail was great. I actually believed he was there. That's how good it was. Now, when it comes to the movie, I feel like it was a Kong, King Kong movie. Godzilla's in it a lot and it don't just because it's his movie don't mean he won the fight or not it's just that he seemed to be the main focus up to the end it was kind of his story and his story arc um not Godzilla was in it quite a lot just as I said he seems to be the main focus um he's neat I won't say uh, I, I I mean there's no point in me giving away the story there's not much to say anyway because it's just a run of the mill story but we're not going to see the story. We're just going to see the fight. One of my criticisms in the last couple of Godzilla movies is my personal thing. Is that um, I felt the fights were too dark, too too much at night. I didn't like the close-ups or it was too far away. Um, I felt like the, both films, I felt like King of Monster fight scenes were a bit better. Um, but I think I preferred the Godzilla 2014 a bit more in general. Um, we didn't see them that much, but when we did, it was all dark. Da, da, da. I felt at the end of films, I wasn't satisfied. Now, Kong, on the other hand, I thought the fights, well, the, the action and all that was great. You could see him, you could see that um, everything was great. Um, now, on to the human part of it. <sighs> On the last couple of Godzilla films and King Kong, more the Godzilla films, um, I felt that we're seeing too much of the humans. I don't care. We're not going to see the humans, their lives and their story arc and their families and the family unit. And, you know, I get it all that's helping the story along, but we're not there for that. We're all we're just sitting there for two hours waiting to see Godzilla and a fight or something or King Kong. But King Kong was in it a lot more. So I actually preferred King Kong on the King Kong movie. Um, but yeah, as I said, but this, no. The humans, yeah, they had the little bit of stories here and there. But 
the humans were only here to bring the story along. It's like they corrected. Yeah, all right, we listened to the fans. Too much of this. We want to see monsters at action. And oh, we got it. As I said, Kong is the star of this movie. And uh, it's not really humans. That's what I was going to say. Now, the fights. It's all, like I said, it's all daytime on this. I mean, that was brilliant. And there is a few night ones, but but we could see it. it um, there's a couple of fights in the city. It's all neon lights. It's all well lit. The camera angles. It wasn't too far. It wasn't too close. It was like watching a Kung Fu. Not, you know, the angles were great. You could see everything. The buildings were getting smashed like Lego. I mean, like, this is what we're there for. This is this is what we pay the money to see, and we it's being delivered. I can't I I can't stress how much I enjoyed that. Um, the buildings being wow. There is a part of the film that I would say one of my favorite parts of the film is, uh, and I won't give too much away. It's not really a spoiler. They have to go to the center of the earth for I won't say why, but um, it was great. The CGI, the, the center of the earth looked brilliant there was a gravity thing up and down i'm not going to say too much i know it's not much i can give away anyway it's not really a shawshank redemption twice twist film i just don't want to say too much as all but you'll know what i'm talking about when you see it um godzilla he leads the the whole lot through it i loved it oh speaking about um the people bringing it along I did enjoy some of the characters. Um, there was a guy who done a podcast. He was a bit of a conspiracy theorist. He was uh, he was quite good in it. I liked him. The girl from Stranger Things, she's on it. I don't remember her name. But there's a... Um, Scott Scott is in it as well. But there's a little girl. She was the best part of the film when it comes to humans. She, um, she could... She could she could interact with Kong. She they understood each other. She was the only one that um, Kong had understood, and she understood Kong. Um, it was a, it was a nice little relationship they had together, and I I could have watched that a, a bit more, which was fine. It was just done right. Um, just out of uh, the girl from Stranger Things again. I know I should know her name, but it goes out of my head. Her dad was played by a guy called Kyle Chandler. And Kyle Chandler was in the last Godzilla movie, King of Monsters. But did you know that he played a different character on Peter Jackson's King Kong 2005 movie? So he's been on Godzilla movies and King Kong movies and the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So just a little bit of trivia. Now, I didn't think there'd be a winner because I thought you can't have King Kong lose and you can't have Godzilla lose and... You know, it's going to be even and all that. No, there's a clear winner. I'm not saying who, but there's a clear winner, which I was surprised about. I I mean, it was a fair win. Like, it wasn't just those. Oh, there was a clear winner. So anyone who's putting their money down, yeah, someone's going to win. And I'm glad because we had all these other films. I thought, yeah, 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 they're going to gonna be best friends at the end. And I'm not saying they will or they won't, but there is one winner and you'll see who it is now adam wingard is the director and it just been confirmed yesterday as far as i know it's been confirmed yesterday i'm hearing all this that he now has been asked or he's been just given the role of directing the next or the new or the one and only movie thundercats yeah and going by the way godzilla turned out and the coloring the lighting and the direction i am all in i'm a hundred percent i I'm glad it's going to be him and I'm going to be looking forward to that and I'm going to follow it all the way to the to um until the day it comes out. So, all in all, this film is great. You get what you paid for. You're um you're going to see the monster movie and a monster movie you get. Um CGI, it's got a lot of heart in it. It's got it's got a lot of action, it's got a lot of color. I can't recommend this more. If this is what you're going to see, if this is what you're into, this, if you're going to see like uh, Shawshank Redemption, anyway, I don't even need to say that you're not. Anyone who's watching this wants to know what it's about and what I thought. Well, it was great. And I'm going to give this a movie a thumbs up, a, a solid big thumbs up. And I can't wait to see it again because I'm going to actually going to watch it in the next few days again. So what did you think of it? Have you seen it yet? Is the anticipation big on you? Do you care or what do you? Please let me know in the comments below. 
And once again, I'd like you to subscribe. Click that button just there. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Just one of before I go, I want to give a big shout out to a guy called Christopher Lee Jackson. He's over in Washington, D.C., and he has drawn and sent me a picture of me and Movie Mash. And I want to say I love it. It's great. Uh, I can't thank you anymore. It was such a nice thing for you to do. Um, Chris is an artist. He has his own book. And I'm going to talk about that another day. I'm going to get all the information, talk about that another day. But as I said, he sent me this picture and I want to give you a big shout out and make the best thing. I I'm touched. So that's all I have right now for this video. And as I said before, talk to you later. Yeah.